In this example, we need to find the Z-transform and the corresponding ROC region of convergence for signal H2N which is equal to B with the power of N for N less than 0. For this N less than 0, it is what we call left-sided sequence or anti-causal. So the Z-transform of signal H2 is equal to this equation. So Bn multiplied with the Z with the power of minus N. Please note that the range must be less than 0. So from N equal to negative infinity until negative 1. For this one, in order to use the closed form expression, this into this one, this is the closed form expression, we need to change the limit of this signal H2. So how to change the signal, uh, the limit of signal H2 from this negative infinity to negative 1 into 0 to infinity. So I'll explain in the next slide. So to change the limit of signal H2 from negative infinity to negative 1, so this is the original equation based on signal H2 for n less than 0. Okay, we change to this one from 1 to infinity. So we change from negative infinity to negative 1. We change into n equal to 1 until infinity. So this one, this signal is also changed. The power signal for B and Z is also changed. Okay, now we rearrange this equation into this format. So Z over B with the power of positive N. Okay, please note that if n, if we start n from 0, okay, if n equal to 0, so this function will become 1. Okay, so from this range of n from 1 until infinity, we want to change the range from 0 until infinity. So since if we have z over b with the power of 0 is equal to 1, so, to get this equation, we need to subtract this value of 1 and we can change the range of summation from 0 to infinity. With the condition, we subtract the value of 1 for case n equal to 0. For this equation, is actually equal to this one after we subtract this equation with this range from 0 to infinity with this value 1. This is for the case if n equal to 0 since we use this range. Okay, Then we can rearrange this equation. So for this one, we can use the closed form expression where the uh, summation from 0 to infinity. So for this closed form expression, is 1 over 1 minus z over b. Okay, this is the subtraction of 1 for case n equal to 0, this one. Okay, so when we simplified this equation, it became b over b minus z. Okay, so with this minus 1 plus this function. So if we settle this equation, it became this one. Negative b plus z plus b divided by b over z, and then we settle this one, it became z minus b over b minus z. And this one, this one also equal to minus z over z minus b. So for this one, We change the limit. We back to the previous slide. So we change the limit. So it became this one. So for the power series to converge, this function z over b must be less than 1. If we rearrange this equation, we take b to the right side. So z must be less than b. So the region of convergence for function h2 Okay, the Z-transform of signal H2 only exists for Z less than B. This is the pole radius for B. Okay, so the ROC for signal H2 is exists for Z less than B. For Z larger than B, the signal H2 diverge. 
Therefore, the ROC of signal H2 is the shaded region inside of pole radius B. In this case, H2, the Z transform of signal H2 is equal to negative Z over Z minus B, where Z is less than B in this shaded region inside of pole radius B. This is B.